hemp, a crop once so important to Pennsylvania agriculture, East and West Hempfield Townships are named after it. The production of commercial hemp came to a grinding halt in 1937, when the growth of all cannabis plants was outlawed in the United States. Now, over 80 years later, the 2018 Farm Bill is allowing many entrepreneurial farmers the ability to become licensed hemp growers. We're at the Penn State Southeast Agricultural Research Center, and what we do here is serve as a living laboratory for ideas that folks have in labs and greenhouses at State College, and then we bring them here, see if they work in real life, and if they do, then we bring that information to farmers and consumers and homeowners, whoever can use that. This Penn State Extension campus is spending their time and resources researching hemp in order to benefit farmers like Steve Groth, who jumped at the first opportunity to grow it in Pennsylvania. So I started this year planting 70 acres of CBD hemp. And that's quite a lot, one of the larger growers in the state. Uh, but I've studied this for a while, so I'm in contact with a lot of people who are familiar with growing it. We transplant uh, out of a greenhouse. It takes about four weeks to grow them in a greenhouse. And we transplant it out in the fields. And most of this was planted in about the first week of June. You know, it's, it's about three months till, till it's ready to harvest. We'll take a snippers like this, and we'll just cut this off like that. And then we'll go and we'll dry it. And then this will then get ground up and we'll extract out of this. A lot of times they'll use CO2 or ethanol or various means to pull the oils out of the plant and then they have to filter it and clean it up and then they bottle it. We're standing in a fiber hemp field right now and this hemp can be used either for fiber or to harvest the seeds out of the seed head. Um, but to harvest for fiber, we would want to come through and mow all of this. Then we let those plants lay out in the field for a couple of weeks so microbes that are naturally in our environment can break down the fiber and make it easier to process. So we have some already uh, mowed here that's been sitting here for a couple of weeks and the process that's been going on is called redding. You can easily break it apart and the outside stays strong and that's the fiber part. The inside is called herd and that's a barky substance that can be used for animal bedding, for bioplastics, and other uses. So we want them to fall apart easily before we send them off to get processed. Researchers and farmers alike are working to battle the misconceptions surrounding hemp. Hemp and marijuana are both the same plant, but the difference is they're a different variety. So marijuana is a type of variety that has a high level of THC and that's the psychoactive compound in it. Whereas hemp grown for fiber and grain and CBD are not that way. They don't have high levels of THC, so they can't get anyone high, and they can be used for other purposes. As the research continues to come in about the initial year of hemp production in the 21st century, many are optimistic that this crop could have a positive impact on Pennsylvania agriculture. For Lancaster Online, I'm Danielle Zolkowski.